What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So we got the next one off of the 33 and one third album. This is You're the Only One. We are close to the end. We're getting close to the end of this album. I do believe so. One second here. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we're nearly there. There's only a couple more songs on this. This one is track nine. So this is You're the Only One. I think this might be an original. I'm not sure. This one might be a, an original track. This is like a mixture of covers and original songs. Let me see. Is there any credits? No. There's not even any credits listed for it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is an original or a cover, but regardless, either way, I'm excited to check out another one from Farnsy, especially off of this album. This is a really unique album, different than the other things he's done, and I'm glad that Annie brought it up and introduced us to it. Um, for the other songs on this album, let me see. It doesn't have the full track listing here. I know that there were a few that... I've already done in the past, like way before, maybe like five months ago, there's one that I did. Let's see, let me look up the track listing. Hold on. I'm just going to look up the full track list for this really quickly. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. Bear with me. You guys already know you can hit the fast forward button if you don't want to wait for me to look this up. It's that simple. Right, just hit that fast forward button. If I can get this to load, I'm not gonna wait forever if it decides not to. But now there it goes. Hold on, let me look this up. I just want the track listing so I can tell you guys what that other song was. Um, let's see here. That's what love will make you do. Okay, yeah, that's what love will make you do. I did a live version of that already, like, five months ago. So, if you go into the Farnsey reactions and go back, like, five months or so, that's what love will make you do got done already. A live version of it from 2000, I believe it was, right around the year that this album came out, so... For those of you that might want to see that one off of this album as well, it's already been done like five months ago. It's probably the first one that we ever did off of this album. It's a random request. So we're going to get into this one for you. If you guys struggle with mental health or addiction, please go get yourself some professional help. It means the world to me to have a channel where I can encourage that as somebody who survived it in their own life. And barely made it out man by the skin of my teeth i pulled myself out of that i pushed it to the limit for real with my own personal journey so i fully understand being in the pits of that and being stuck inside of those things but i promise you you can pull yourself out and you can live a much better life for yourself so that's what it's all about on here that's what i like to encourage we like to keep positive vibes we talk about difficult things sometimes but you gotta have that that balance and everything. We talk about negative things in a positive way. We use them as encouragement and lessons whenever we talk about the negative things. So I always spin it into a lesson or some kind of advice for you guys when it comes to discussing those things. So we just keep it like that on here. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for supporting everything on the channel. I'm also dropping an album on the 2nd of next month. So... I would really appreciate it if you guys marked your calendars for that and you check that out whenever I drop it. It would mean the world to me. It's called Stranger Labyrinth. It's going to be fucking dope. You guys are going to like it. I already know. You guys will enjoy it. So we're going to get into this. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Barnsey with You're the Only One.
Barnsley's great. Who's the writing credit on this? Let me check this. It's on the track listing that I have pulled up. Who wrote? Merle Bainbridge wrote it. That's who wrote it. It's Merle Bainbridge, who is an Australian pop music songwriter. Her debut was 94 with a single called Mouth which peaked at number one for six consecutive weeks in Australia and became a top five hit in the United States. wonder if I've heard that song before. I don't know if I've ever heard that. We might have to check that out. Do y'all know that song? But that's who wrote this. That's who wrote this song for John. I really like these lyrics, though. Let's check out these lyrics real quick. So, I had a dream that started long ago that you were mine, but as the story goes, you walked into my life and tore me apart at the seams, he says. <laughs> that can be a good thing sometimes. Sometimes you have to rip things down to rebuild them, you know, like remodeling a house, tear the walls down to make them nicer later. You can take it that way. He says, then in a flash, you changed your mind again, and with a kiss, you took away my pain. I'm playing with fire. It's burning right through my soul. Hey, that's passion for you. Passionate love feels like playing with fire. It also can feel like being torn apart and rebuilt. Or just being torn apart, depending on the person. <laughs> Some people are way extra. <laughs> You guys know how it is, man. We all know how it is, especially nowadays. I say that all the time. The dating climate nowadays is a monstrosity. And if you find one person that you can just hang out with and you get along, you might as well just fucking date them. At this point, if you get along well with them, you're probably not going to find that too often. People are a little bit standoffish and, like, really uninvolved nowadays that's the best word for it they're uninvolved <laughs> it's like they get involved with each other and then they sit there and stare at their phones and don't talk to each other and that's the relationship like why would you want that so many uninvolved relationships even in friendships nowadays people just don't talk to each other they just play on their phones and they're not socializing and shit it's kind of crazy the way that things are nowadays people have lost a lot of their social skills that's why like i just said if you find somebody that you get on well with and you get along you might as well just fucking say screw it and date them <laughs> <laughs> that's the way i see it at this point because you might not find that again for another 10 goddamn years <laughs> good luck right this is cool i like the vibe of it this is a really awesome vibe i love the instrumental john's vocals are always on point and kudos to who was it meryl meryl uh, bainbridge yeah kudos to meryl bainbridge on the lyric sheet freaking awesome so far i like it That tom pop was heavy. That was a floor tom and a snare together. That was really, really thunderous. I like that. That added a lot of character to that stop right there. Hold on. Let's bring this back again. <laughs> I've learned my lesson and you think I know I'm going down. What a great way to nice. go. fucking song this is a really really good song just like smooth it's like perfectly crafted it's just like water man i love the stops the stops are really really smooth that adds a lot of character to the instrumental and the way john carries his vocals in between the stops 
very, very good. This is awesome. He said, I've learned my lesson and you'd think I'd know I'm going down. What a great way to go. <laughs> good God. <laughs> <sighs> fucking innuendos and lyrics are ridiculous sometimes they come out of nowhere and then you just realize right fucking funny every morning every evening there ain't no time i ain't thinking about the way you smile you're the one that drives me wild some people's smiles are just like you see it one time and You'll never forget it, even if you don't see them again. You'll just remember that smile for the rest of forever, right? For the rest of your life. Some people just have that kind of energy and essence to them. It's very impossible to forget. But he's talking about the one that, like, he's with, obviously. And they're to the point of just driving him insane. In a not a bad way. He's just really... Like, passionate, like he's feeling it, and he knows that he could be torn at the seams at any point, but he knows that at the same time, the love is very passionate and fiery, and he doesn't want to go anywhere. He knows that the other person is coming back, and they keep coming back. Every morning, every evening, he can't stop thinking about them smiling. He's just driven mad at this point. Maddened by love. That's the, that's the energy of this song, right? Yeah, he is madly involved in love. Madly in love and driven wild. I like it. I love the vibe of it. The instrumental's fucking epic. This is one of the best instrumentals as far as he's ever had. <laughs> this guy oh man his vibe shifts are classic i love the vibe shifts and the way he attacks things throughout a song and then as well the fact that it's a this is a thing that farnsey has mastered he's singing a really intensely emotional and deep song that's all over the place and has you on the edge of your seat when it comes to the direction he's going to take it next. But the uh, instrumental is one of the happiest things I've ever heard. Like, ever. This is very, very happy music, right? <laughs> what he's saying, though, <laughs> does not match. And I love that contrast. It's a good contrast to have when it comes to the genre of music and style of music that he makes. I love that he throws that in there when it comes to the structuring of the music itself. Really awesome. He says, I was a fool to think that you would stay and in a breath you took your love away. What else can I do but cry me a river of tears? A whole river, Farnsey. Sheesh. It's a lot. He said, now all my sunny days turn to gray. Nothing but stormy clouds have come my way. But deep down inside, I'm praying for lightning to strike, he says. Damn, Farnsey. He's ver- <laughs> Damn. Waiting for lightning to strike, he says. That's deep. That's deep. If you're praying to get struck by lightning, you got something else going on with your situation. You're really out there and deep into it. Farnsey is describing a situation that's unbearable to lose right here. 
that's how passionate it is. And obviously we find that out with those first verses and what we discussed in there. I love this song. This is a really, really nice song. He made the song bipolar just like the relationship. <laughs> hot and cold. The whole song is hot and cold. He says, just when I think I'm out of the rain, you want me back and here I go again. <laughs> it's like you keep coming back. Stop. It's like, just stay or go. <laughs> like, please. Oh my goodness, that's fucking great. <sighs> yeah, I'll tell you one thing, if that's what you're into, it's interesting. It's a fucking interesting way to live. <laughs> Be on the edge of your seat with them ones. If you can handle it, man. More power to you. If you're into that, right? <laughs> Good God. Hornsey's great. structures his songs it's like there's a lot of verses in this this is a really long lyric sheet actually he said he repeated that every morning every evening there ain't no time i ain't thinking about the way you smile you're the one that drives me wild then he says when i'm waking or while i'm sleeping there ain't no time i ain't dreaming about you by my side that's a nice cadence right there Wow, the way that he put that together is really, really cool. I like that. Every time I look into your eyes, it's plain for me to see you're the only one for me. Sometimes it be like that. Yeah, some people have really powerful eyes. You guys know. We all know. Yeah, a glance into a person's eyes can make you instantaneously, like feel something like if you just like have you guys ever seen those things where they like ask each other a bunch of questions to see if they're compatible or something but then like right at the end the last thing is like just stare into each other's eyes for 60 seconds and see how both of you react in that situation yeah someone's breaking Someone's breaking whenever it's these kind of eyes that he's describing here, right? <sighs> Sometimes very quickly, you know what I mean? And that's the power of looking into somebody's eyes. You can really show true emotion just by looking into somebody's eyes. You don't have to say words. You can see feeling inside of what happens when eyes meet, it's just a natural occurrence. You can't mask that kind of shit forever, at least. Like, maybe for a little bit, but eventually it comes to the surface whenever it comes to love and shit like that. But Farns, he's like, I just know by looking into your eyes that you're the only one. And every time... I think I'm out of the rain, you want me back, here I go again, he says, and he's still going, he's not done yet, there's still more new words. <laughs> He 
is just when I think I'm out of the rain. You call me up and you try to explain. Just say I'm crazy like the fool that I am. You want me back and here I go again. I think they might both be a little bit crazy. To be honest. <laughs> in this situation, in this song, right? I think both parties might be a little bit on the crazy side. Because we got on and off, hot and cold, but deep immense amounts of love that are indescribable. But the hot and cold makes it very difficult and very crazy, right? He's like, now you're calling me up and you try to explain, just say I'm crazy like the fool that I am. Want me back, here I am going again. He won't give up on it, though. This song is not one of giving up. <laughs> every morning, every evening, every no time, I get in thinking about the way you smile. You're the one that drives me wild. When I'm awakened, or oh, while I'm sleeping, every no time, I get in dreaming about you by my side. Listen to that fucking brass section going insane, man. Crazy on the brass section. <clears throat> I love it. It's a really good song. We did that one already. Y'all check that one out if you haven't yet. We did that one the other night. This right here is freaking epic. I really, really like this one a lot. This is just a song of a hot and cold kind of love where it's on and off and they're running and they're getting together and they, they can't get away from each other they don't want to they're just kind of one's a runner and the other one's confused that's what it is <laughs> well if you get yourself a runner you're in for a lot of fucking wild times i'll tell you what yeah some people just get scared, like, I don't know. It's just a quality that some people have. They're just like, ah, I need to go for a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of this, right? Yeah, that can stem from many things in life. That can, that can stem from so many reasons, and sometimes you can't always hold it against a person. They should probably get themselves some, some help and work on it and try not to do that so much, but... I mean, whenever certain things go on in people's lives or they've been through certain kind of shit, it's understandable that they might be like, ah, meander off a little bit here and there. And you have to kind of get it situated amongst each other, you know? That's the best way that I can say it, really. There's so many different situations and layers to how this could go. This is very generalized in the lyrics. It's not like super descriptive in the situations of what's going on or what's completely being said. It's just more so the emotions inside of it and the hot and cold energy in general is being described. But yeah, I mean, this is really relatable to a lot of real life relationships. Like I said, a lot of people have that runner kind of energy and the other person's just super confused like oh my god <laughs> do you love me or do you hate me or do i love you or do i not like you? <laughs> what is this yeah it, it's like that sometimes but hey ultimately at the end of the day if you love each other you're gonna end up back at each other's 
fucking presence and you can't avoid it because you're gonna both want to be there and that's where you'll end up so at the end of the day don't overthink it just let life fucking kind of occur and go with it and don't cry a river of tears like john did and this is not worth it the original video will be in the description as always subscribe to farnsey support the artists on the channel go get help if you need it i love you guys so much thank you for all the requests i got a new album coming out like i said go check it out for me when it comes out on the second stranger labyrinth you guys will enjoy it a lot i know you will i'm vacasa Kabe. a reaction video a day or two Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.